Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play of Fallout 4. Um, I have since gotten a, a new mic, so hopefully the audio quality will be better and not worse. As you might notice, I've made some further improvements to Red Rocket. I now have a bridge, and I have a structure down here that has um, a, an electric water pump and a little bit more defense, and I've decided to take the settlement and actually activate it. I mean, uh, by which I mean I, I set up a radio beacon and I'm starting to get a good number of settlers just wandering in. Like um, you can see Ada's there. We have a decontamination arch, which is great for coming back when I'm irradiated. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. I've done some minor redecorations uh, of the place apart from that. I've been trying to make this place feel a little bit more like a home and less like a garage where stuff happens. I mean, where industry happens. But things haven't changed all that much. Yes. <coughs> I've also tried to make this area here feel a little bit more realistic. Uh, I've made it into a nice rest area for my settlers to come when they're not doing their businessy things. Honestly, I, I suspect like anybody in this kind of place for real would be bored out, out of their minds, but at the same time they'd be safe. And also probably a lot of people live pretty boring lives uh, in reality, so maybe I just have kind of high standards for, uh, for the way that people live. Move the garbage over here, um, out of that rest area. <coughs> yeah, this is just a place where we can have a little bit more water. I needed it just because I have more people. I've improved all my weapons a little bit further, but not a whole lot has changed. And so right now my companion is McCready, and I am ready to head out. I'm going to go and do curtain call, I think. Um, because I'm not really yet ready to do headhunting. I could do vault tech uh, calling, but it's a, it's in a part of the commonwealth that I really haven't been to yet. And that part is really quite dangerous. So I think I'm probably going to hold off on that for now. Curtain call is tough, but it should be doable. Um, I could do parts of the Silver Shroud quest line. And yeah, just basically the rest of these are main quests. Uh, quest things, apart from when Freedom Calls, which I just don't intend to do, because I never end up bringing the Minutemen back. Um, so yeah, so S Silver Shroud and Curtain Call are, are the two quests that I think would make the most sense to do right now. Let me make sure... My inventory is low enough. It's not quite as low as I would like it to be, but I improved my weapons a little bit, and that unfortunately made them all a little bit heavier. Plus, I'm going to start carrying around a dress just in case I need a... I need to pass a charisma check. <coughs> None of the rest of this is really uh, excessive. Um, so, yeah, I'm up to 108 pounds. I'll just have to deal with it. So, for this, I'm going to pop back to Hubris Comics. <coughs> You might notice my voice is not doing that well. Um, this time of year, my sinuses tend to be pretty unkind to me. And actually, I was quite sick for the last uh, two days. Getting a little bit better. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that this doesn't end up blowing out my voice. But <clears throat> at the same time, I'm incredibly bored. And so I think it makes sense to try... Uh, let's see, for this... I'm investigating a radio broadcast. Whoa. Did you catch that? What was it? Oh, I heard something. Not sure what it was. It sounded like quite a crash. Maybe we should head over there and check it out. Huh? Okay, somebody sees me. Oh, it's Raiders, I think. Whoa, yep, Raiders. And McCready is being a little bit cold, and is going for it. For it. Let's see if I can back him up if the Raiders move. Are they going to move? Maybe not. Okay. But he 
he's still okay. So we're gonna sneak around the side and see if we can get these guys some other way. Okay. We at least disabled one of their defenses, and now I think they're probably expecting me to come from that direction, so I might pop back over and come from this direction. Okay, can I see them? No, not quite. It'd be nice if I could. Playing games with me, huh? Yeah, I suppose, uh... This just might count as playing games. So that door doesn't open. Maybe I can slip around this way. <coughs> one of the downsides... I guess one of the, the reasons why they might want to have so few routes of uh, approach is that it means that they don't have to think too hard in terms of where somebody's coming at them from. Ah, uh, shoot. Looks like this building has raiders too. And I actually have to move quite far to come at them from an angle that would be novel to them. But let's try over here. Okay, here it looks like they managed to kill a Brahmin. They probably dragged a trade. Oh, there we go. So for this, uh, we are going to make sure that we have So we've loosened them up a bit. Now we're going to switch to a Molotov because ooh, we would kind of like to set them on fire. Basically we're just hoping to weaken them enough that we can then do a frontal assault. But we're not quite there yet. Gonna break every bone in your body. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this might call more for a sniper rifle I'll give you that. than anything else. Where are they? Okay. Ooh. And McCready hops in and immediately gets incapacitated. Great. Although we actually didn't didn't end up coming out too bad from that encounter. Not bad at all. Okay. And I guess people recovering super quickly is, is just the unrealistic part of all of this. But it's kind of necessary just to keep the game from being unpleasant. Okay. Ahead we go. Their settlement here really wasn't that impressive. Okay, and here. Shh. Whoop. Okay, so I don't think that guy really saw me. This is bullshit. Okay. Okay, there he is. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Huh. is certainly being a little bit more exciting than I thought, but on the other hand, that's kind of a good thing. It's kind of the way these things go. You have an intent to do something, you get interrupted, you press through the difficulty, and it is rewarding. I could probably do this the slow motion kill cams, but... This is also a great argument for why, in this world, you absolutely would, so much as is possible, always be traveling with your buddy. Oh. Damn. Now he's just starting to have fun. Because, A, all these weapons have directionality. If somebody's aiming. That's how we do things around here. 
And if somebody is aiming uh, at one place, they're not usually aiming at the other place too. Because managing two weapons at the same time would not usually work out that well. Okay, so you can go inside. This might be a little dangerous, but... I might just do it anyhow. But for that, let's switch to a weapon that's good in close quarters. And that would be this. So it looks like this is an oyster bar. <clears throat> so in we go. I suppose in theory, this is making the Commonwealth a safer place. Huh? At least oh, it's on. if you buy the theory that the right response to these kinds of uh, possibly uncivilizable people is to kill them, then it, it would make sense that this would all would make the com uh, the Commonwealth a safer place. I'm not sure that's a solid theory or not. I guess it just kind of, in modern, highly civilized uh, places, it probably is almost always wrong that uh, that you you can just like get rid of or yeah just get rid of bad people and everything becomes good. But in a world like this, it might be right. Kind of have to be careful for traps. Maybe we should turn off the flashlight, although it is frustratingly dark without it. Okay, so I think we're on top. I think we probably took care of everything down there before, but I'm not really sure. I guess not, because I am seeing a red blip. You don't peekaboo with somebody with uh, a place to nap. Great. Yeah, not a smart person to play peekaboo with. Wait, combat armor? That's actually pretty good stuff. Find anything useful on him? Uh, not, nothing. But it's not bad. The Anyhow, so the place we were going, uh, I think we can probably manage to jump down from here. Well, it's a it's a little high. You have to be careful and fall out. Later on in the game, I'm probably going to try and get one of the items that makes it much less of a concern when you drop down. But that's definitely a ways off. Anyhow, we'll continue our quest and save. Uh, let's get out our sniper stuff. Yeah, relatively unlooted places, which... I think I've probably mentioned you would kind of expect 200 years after the things to be pretty well looted, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, this is where we want to be, Trinity Tower. This is a highly dangerous place, if I remember right, and I might not be remembering right. I hear something. Oh, yes. But I, I guess I approached from an angle that they didn't expect. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Surprised that that dog isn't on me now. Ooh. Okay, I guess it was. I just wasn't seeing uh, the angle that it decided to approach me from. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. 
The one thing that I found a little bit weird with the super mutants is that the vast majority of them probably wouldn't be smart enough or certainly have the impulse control needed for firearms to really be a good choice of weapons for them. And that I think that there's a fair amount of maintenance that goes into uh, into using firearms. <coughs> and so unless there was just an absolutely incredible amount of surplus, then you would expect that any firearms that they would have and want to use would become up fast enough. I'm sorry, would become damaged fast enough that they would basically just run out too quickly. Like, firearms really, I, in, in the world of Fallout, probably should be just the domain of humans. Or, or at least super mutants for a very brief time and then again not. That's my gut feeling. <clears throat> oh, that's an interesting sound. That sounds like robots. It does. Yes, it is robots. Those are protect things. For what they're firing at. Ah, scavengers versus pr protectrons. Both dangerous, but we will let. Ooh. Okay, I was hoping to. They are not always hostile, but they tend to be very fiercely territorial. So they get unhappy if you get too near them. But they typically won't go after you unless you get into... Uh, step onto... Uh, into areas that they claim. Anyhow. Let's check our weight allowance. We're at 201. Okay, so we are going to swing briefly back by Red Rocket to drop off our stuff. And now that we've marked this on our map, we can just fast travel back here and we will be uh, ready to begin that quest. <coughs> any radiation, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we want, don't want to get too sophisticated with any of this. We're basically just reducing weight. Um, now that lightweight combat armor, that's actually kind of tempting. Don't need that sequin debt dress right now. Nice, we're getting our, our weight very nicely down. 96 pounds, that is pretty workable. Ninety-two pounds. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. Let's get our nice, fast, trusty... A nice, fast, trusty combat shotgun ready again. And then we will be uh, heading back in. You'll see this as a general pattern. Just because I really don't like inventory management. 
and it'll be a while before I have the needed perks to make it largely not an issue. Although I might prioritize those perks a little bit higher in this game than I would otherwise. Just because, as annoying as it is... Ah! Another human! Come to rescue Rex! He is weak! Kill him! Oh, well. If they think that, then they're welcome to come and say hello. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, maybe it, w maybe it was that elevator down there. I thought that that was an optional... Oh, nope, this is, this is how we do it. I think. I'm guessing that reminds you of the old days. I guess we just have to kind of assume that McCready knows enough of our past. I've definitely gotten a little bit turned around. I thought that... I guess uh, we must have told uh, McCready about our past in the cryo chamber and all that. Okay. Well, the quest marker actually does have us going through the elevator here, so that's what we're going to do. I just thought that it was trying to save time. That's one of the things about the quest marker. A, it's you a little bit... You only kill the weakest of us! It only makes us stronger! Yeah... If they cannot kill one puny human, they are less than nothing! The thing is, if you have ten critters... You fight well for a human! Now die like one! My warriors are waiting for you! Not sure if I, I've ever done this. Before. your brains! Won't take long. The thing is, if you have ten people, and then you start wiping out the weakest of them, yes, it does make you stronger on average, but it also it makes you less strong as a unit. So it's definitely a failure of logic. Okay, so the last, uh, so it starts with the R-E-S. I guess rare is a possibility. Nice. Yep. Okay, can open that safe and ouvrir le port. <laughs> but then again, super mutants in this game are not necessarily... What? Who's there? where you expect to see the brightest Someone of there. thinking. Okay. So off we go. Uh, oh, he has played tricks on me again! Ah! Uh, I hear something! Ha <laughs> ha! There you- Let's back off a little bit. Okay, so our foes are all above us. The entrance to down here is over there. I think it would make you sense humans, so to drop a fragment here. So weak. I'm not sure if there's another way down here. I guess there probably is. But in case there isn't... So that was fun, but it didn't quite uh, wipe them out. This is no game, human! We win, you die! Now let's pop over here. Okay. Yeah, that, that finishes him off. But the super mutants have probably prevented looting, which I guess that you would make sense. Humans made us! I do not know where McCready is right now. I don't know where they are. 
hearing a dog, or, or one of the mutant dogs. And some gunfire flash. Okay. Again, we are in danger. Let's leave a trap and back off. Because actually we did not finish looting over here. And with any luck... Little baby scared? Oh, McCready, you're back. Good, great. Okay, so we are gonna try and press forward rather than retreat. Still doing okay health wise. This is a little bit too open of an area for me to be happy. Shh, where I heard something. Ah, there he is. Slippery little. Did not manage to hit him. There we go. And McCready ran up there. One more hit. There we go. Not be mutated. And I'm a little bit too damaged to want to keep hanging out there. So let's uh, heal up. This is a joke. And see if we can uh, not do it. Okay. Yeah, this is my time. This is actually a pretty decent place for the super mutants to be. And that they have somebody has to enter a very open area to come after them. I'm gonna send you to hell. Bleeding pretty fast. And they could very easily I wanna take a stim pack for that. That is a good idea. They could very easily set up traps anywhere in here. Okay, that looked like it hurt. Ah, got him. I think. Okay. We're gonna switch back to our 10 millimeter pistol. Sure, you fight all of them, God, and it's over. You ready for your work? I we will put you in the cage with strong and rats. Okay. Yep. We are successfully and very carefully stepping forward. I'm going to feast on your flesh, you hey, You disappear! No fur! Grab some aluminium cans, which. I can smell you out there, little sneak! Yeah, this place is just fantastic for looting, which is why it was so... Nice try. Uh oh. You hear that? Oh, oh. Another kill for me. Okay. Uh, there... That didn't work out quite as smoothly as I wanted, because McCready stood right, right behind me and didn't let me back off. I think... This is just one of those areas where if you were working with real people, you'd talk about what your expectations are and what your strategies are. And that way you would know, like, oh, this person tends to do this Got in it. combat. And you would avoid stepping on each other's toes. With a computer, I think it'd be kind of tricky to imagine making clear those expectations. And, of course, most people don't think a whole lot about tactics in general in life, so... It would definitely not be... I imagine by the time most people realize that they should do it, uh, they would already have died. Meaning that they never would. And I imagine that's probably the whole basis of, of military science. You have all these things where if you study combat, 
then you might realize, oh, you know, I really should do X, Y, and Z. But most people don't get to study com uh, combat because if you fail in combat, normally you don't have the luxury of uh, learning from your mistake and going on. Anyhow. Uh, Relentless is not that great of a perk. It's not terrible. Um, still, it, it isn't exciting enough that I'm likely to build that pistol up into being as nice as uh, as this one, unless I have unless I seriously have a lot of spare resources. Okay. Um, let's keep on moving. Note that the quest marker suggested we take that other um, that other elevator up, but I think again the quest marker tends to disappoint you at the fastest way towards your goal rather than necessarily at the way that you yes. always choose. And although they didn't do a perfect job in it in Fallout, at least reasonably often there's more than one way to get to where you would want to go. Okay, to turn off the flashlight. Do some damage and back off. Wonder if we can, no, we can't. Be interesting to be to to slip in underneath this thing. Not sure. That was good, but we did take some damage. You're messing with the best. Again, this is early game. You just can't have to deal with uh, with not having the weapons that you normally like. Much later in the game, you tend to specialize in weapons with a certain style. And normally, I tend to, to go with... Uh, ooh, that's a dangerous fall. I tend to go with a style that just means I'm getting the most... I'm getting very high-powered, low rapidity, uh, low fire rate, I should say, uh, weapons, and I tend to use them from great distance. But I think it is a valid style to stay close to your foes and use rapid fire weapons, either handheld uh, ones that do more damage per hit or like Gatling uh, weapons. <coughs> Up. Oh, we are kind of near the roof. This is another area where I feel kind of exposed. Let's see, is there any place? This is not terrible, but we're still kind of exposed. Oh, I think we might have been seen. Or not. No bite today. Something there. I trust her me again. I hear something. Fudge. Okay. Let's, let's switch to close combat weapons. See if we can make a dash. Must have been nothing. What was ah. that? Over ah. right here. Oh, what is it? Stupid noises. Okay, this is another area where we're a little bit too open, and yikes. This is not a fun place to be without walls. What? What? I something. Hmm. By our map markers, everybody is still above us. What's the point of picking up that junk? So, basically, let's 
clear the ground floor and remind ourselves what it looks like. I guess it is stuff like this that makes me think that playing video games theoretically Bye. could provide a certain amount of substitute for hands-on combat experience, but not a, a lot, because basically, auto, this is the general issue with autodidacticism as a philosophy, in that it might give you experiences, Someone there. but you'd be still missing you. out on all of the lectures that you would need to really be able to qualify as an expert. Okay. So there's an option to drop down there. Not ready to go upstairs yet. But if we must, we could run and drop down. Oop, there is a super mutant coming from over there. Let's see. I have to be careful because starting combat now means everybody knows where we are and we're, we're no longer in the sneak around mode but we are in the mode for immediate excitement <coughs> maybe not okay that wasn't too bad but I think we still got a hit to get ourselves back up to fully healthy. Everybody is still above us. Which is great, but I think those platforms can see down. Yes, Can't they can. Damn it. So it might be time to actually just test. We're gonna save. Okay, things become much more open. Oh, oh, hello. For your arrogance. That, that super mutant is probably going to charge us. Oh. You picked the wrong day to piss me off. <laughs> Naturally, they would know all about the, the option to cover. And McCready. This shouldn't take long. More testament to the importance of having Are you serious? some shotgun like weapon. Haven't had enough? Okay. Only one of us survives this, and it well, won't be I'm you. Fine. Just did that on intuition, ah! but sometimes ah! intuition works out pretty well. I think the problem with intuition as a general strategy is that it can often be predicted. And anybody in, in real life would just set some traps if they could, if they had a good enough feel for what, where intuition would lead people. Uh, okay. Suffer! Suffer and bleed! We're ready to push I'll upwards. I'll make this quick. picking through here. I think part of this is also just to, to, just to make sure that I have enough time to think. The whole way along. Because I guess panic is just as much the enemy as, as bad tactics. Okay. This is no Way when you die! Now, part of the problem Here with comes that. Big, dumb, and ugly. Watch out! Oh, oh my goodness! So far. He has got a good weapon. Let's see if uh, 
My trap ends up being useful. This is a joke. Is he going to chase us or not? Wow, you stupid human! Always fight! Okay. He is. I'm not sure what it'll take. Okay, and McCready is just going to go running in there. strategy is working okay, but it just, I have to be careful with his damage capabilities, because he can just lay out a whole lot of pain in a very short period of time. Fortunately, so can I, but that was pretty close. Splitting all that. He has a right? minigun, which is pretty nice. But this uh, miniguns are heavy, and he just put me over the limit. Need something? Hey. Time to split up the loot? Um, we'll give him a minigun. Not sure if he'll if he's gonna have a way to get enough ammo for it, but That we want to scrap wall. No, this I gave him all my weapons. Oh, benef Wait, come back! Don't leave me here! What the hell are you doing in there? Quickly get us out of here! More of my brothers will be here soon. They know a human is attacking the tower. I'll unlock the cage. Hurry! Uh -huh. By the way, he's with me. Malo Strong. He knows the best way down off of this cursed tower. Okay, that was definitely not great. <laughs> sure where they went. Oh. Okay, so they're strong. Hey, strong. Go away, bleeder. Oh. They certainly don't win a lot of, for courtesy, but... So that whole look of even kindness thing, that's a problem. I thought I could civilize these oh, wait, savage by creepy. teaching to him. Strong here believes it is the secret to human power. Uh, so sorry, my treaty. Okay, let's 
get our sniper weapon out. I shall lift our spirits by quoting from the bard. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sweet. Make us lose the good we ought to win by giving to a temple. So basically, this is. At this point, it's mostly they say do never your best to survive. Empty and all the devils are here. Let do your me best embrace to survive this sour adversity. The, the wise down. men say it is the wisest course. Stopping. Why is it stopping? We're all going to die, Yikes. aren't we? That is. I would be pretty nervous about using these kind of elevators this long after the, uh, their period of activity. I mean, the... God! Spineless human! This long after the period of where they were constructed and all that, I would be nervous about using complex technical machines. a good range to use this stuff from. I really have no idea where McCready went, but... are metal plates, then they could conceivably be just as dangerous as bullets traveling at, at, at the at these speeds. Super mutants since then. So let's improve our health and get ready to Okay, I guess my Creedy made his way down on his own somehow. That fall there probably would have broken my limb. Rex. <clears throat> Many thanks for that timely rescue. I think I've earned a reward. Ah, yes, the mercenary. Yes, well, uh -huh. I'd like you to have this. Now, I'm returning to WRVR. And he gave us Agatha's dress, which is actually quite a nice piece of gear. It is just a dress, but it's um, but it gives you plus three charisma rather than plus two, which is what most dresses give you. Go find milk of human kindness with strong. Yes, I'll honor my promise. Good, strong human helps mm -hmm. strong learn. All right, strong. It's like a dear. Goodbye, Macready. Okay, so we're actually going to pull a little bit of a switcheroo here. In that we're not going to start really traveling with, with Strong. But we need to get Strong to one of our settlements. Because I don't really want to come back here when I am ready to travel with him. So in order to do that, I'll make him my, my companion. Travel back to Red Rocket and then meet McCready and swamp back. 
Strong is kind of a fun companion. The problem with him is that he really doesn't like it if you, uh... Strong doesn't like it if you pick locks or use computers. And a lot of the quests in the game involve one or both of those. <clears throat> he does like it if you just kill stuff. But you need to be at a point in the game where you're pretty much committed to just doing that for a while. For it to be wise to travel with him. So, I'm not really ready to make that commitment. Uh, dropping off the stuff. Da dee da. Shooby dooby doo. Okay. We're ready. Uh, maybe. I don't see McCready. He should be around here somewhere, but. I think maybe the quickest way to, to get. To him. He might actually still be walking here. Is for me to. For my character to nap for a little while. <coughs> okay, so hopefully that brought McCready around. He should be pretty visible in the tuxedo that I put on, or sailor outfit thing. <coughs> there you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. Finally came to your senses, huh? Okay, so Strong then can stay at Red Rocket. And we can go, go on with McCready. Oh yeah, we should also... Hey! Take the yeah, weapon what is things it? that we asked McCready to carry for us and drop them off. Particularly that minigun, which is almost 30 pounds. <coughs> okay, so we're down to a, a good travel weight again, and we've gained a level. Just review. Can't do gun rank 3 yet. We could do master level hacker, which is probably, probably the right thing, because it's annoying to be locked out of places. Uh, we already have master lockpick. Oh, uh, okay, and... Great. <coughs> so our next step, we're going to go do some, well, no, McCready doesn't actually like the silver uh, shroud stuff. So we're actually going to go and see if we can make our way down closer to uh, Vault 88, which is quite a long way south of where we are. should be highly dangerous. But I think we might have uh, we might be strong enough to do it at this point. And we might run into some other adventures along the way. Okay, sniper rifle, go. McCready, go. And we are ready to push forward. Uh, oh, rat stag. See if we can not get too involved in combat with wildlife. Whoa, okay. We definitely. Very, very aggressive wildlife. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is kind of funny. If I, Again, that was one of those things that actually got me to jump a little bit. Which is a sign that you've gotten immersion pretty... Right. I mean, if you if you uh, you can kind of imagine being in a place that's shaped like this. 
Like, unlike Fallout 3, which was just way too flat, Fallout 4 is vertical in all the right places to the right degree. Okay, this is another place that we might decide to explore later. But right now we don't want to deal with the with the Yagwai. Set of minds around a dead. Uh, okay, so this is going to be dangerous, but we're going to risk it. Okay. Ah, okay, there were just three, and we got all three of them. Great. So this is a hospital com uh, complex. But we don't actually have a whole lot of business here. Just gonna keep on moving. We should be bearing a little bit west at this point. Ooh. Oh, those. Okay, that's not very fun. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Another one. Oh, two more. And that got both of them. Great. Except, oh, there's more of them somewhere. Somebody's still firing at me, and somebody recently hit me. guy, but yep, getting some good nuclear material from him, which is what made all this worth it. Uh, there are more super mutants somewhere nearby. I think I might have missed one of the one of the suicider corpses. Oh, yeah, this is a major super mutant settlement. We don't want to hang around here too much. Oh. Okay, so... Apparently, those nukes do not have a chain reaction. So I shot one... It automatically exploded because I hit uh, hit the arm carrying the nuke, but the explosion killed the other, but did not destroy its nuke. I kind of assumed that when that happened, uh, it did have kind of a chain reaction, but apparently that's not true. So you end up getting mini nukes instead of uh, nuclear material, which is actually not what I want. I would rather have the oh well. I, I would rather have the. Um, we know those are raiders. In reality, we never would know. Not from this Safety distance, off. anyhow. I think we have company. Gently press ahead. There's a machine gun turret over there. Shh. I swear I, I heard something. Take it out. Yeah, this is this is not a great place for somebody to hang out. You get good visibility, but the problem is everybody else gets good visibility of you too. And so I 
Your no. ideal situation not going to need that stuff out of the well like this is to have an asymmetry of vis visibility. You want it where you can easily see them coming. They cannot see you well enough to get an, a good shot at you. <coughs> and that pretty clearly was not the case here. And because there were not enough of them to keep an eye on, uh, on everything, that means that I was able to take them out. Okay, that is not me. Either that or it is not meat that the game considers significant enough. Somebody can see me right now, because I'm getting that caution. It just cleared up, but... Very nice. If I don't do the shot, then I will have bottle cap mine. Yeah, the downside of, of bottle cap mines. Come on, we're here. Oh. Don't tell me you actually believe that buried treasure nonsense. I am not aware of any buried treasure nonsense. Okay, we just might have set ourselves up for some excess fun. That was just starting to have fun. things around here. Okay, so very gently working our way in. Part of the reason that we're putting in this bother is that this is actually a settlement. Oh, big mistake. Or at least it can be a settlement. to clear it and it is not the easiest of places to clear and there are enough ghouls here that if you do this wrong then you can actually end up being swarmed and killed but it is possible and oh shoot close for comfort to that swarm and uh, killed uh, situation. Oh, let's see. So that helps a little bit and reduces the rads a little bit. Yeah, much later on I'm pretty used to having one, uh, a perk that makes uh, so definitely not ready for that yet. That makes um, stim packs heal a lot more and do it a lot faster. Now, although it doesn't look particularly promising, this is actually one of my favorite settlements. It takes a lot of work to get it up to up to the point where it's uh, where it feels secure. But the tactical possibilities here are pretty uh, entertaining. 
and although it's in a very dangerous part of the Commonwealth. I guess I just demonstrated uh, that if you're not careful, you will get swarmed and killed. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's just this is it's not a, it's not a super small settlement has a whole lot of stuff interesting nearby. It is in a dangerous area, but just the... It has a whole lot of... survive that and there's not all and they're still not all gone <coughs> but yeah I think it makes it even more impressive when you can turn this place that's obviously super dangerous into a, a, a little fortress if you can do it grenade did not end up going anywhere useful. And my health is actually pretty shoddy again. So I'm just going to prioritize my weapon Safety at this off. point, because... Be because ghouls, you very rarely, uh, very, very rarely can actually sneak up on them. So even if you are ordinarily a stealth character, this is definitely not the time for that. The game really had the most amazing f physics engine imaginable, and occasionally when you open doors, uh, it should A, take some effort, and B, things should fall out because they were being held up by the door. I don't think... Uh Uh, 
that is just about one of the least useful mods that you can have. If it depends on, on you're doing a block, I I basically never are in, uh, am engaged in combat anything? to the level where I'm doing blocks. Oh, fudge, where did it go? Hmm. I think one of the two of those were legendaries. No? Okay. I either got confused or I somehow managed to lose a body. Or possibly Hey, what do you McCready. want? No, he didn't take it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's keep on moving. My weapon ready. That's another combat armor component. And combat armor in this game... Ooh, very nice. A full set of combat armor. Or at least a lot of components of it. If, it, if it's not quite a full set, it's still a uh, pretty amazing find because combat armor is... It offers really, really amazing defense. But basically our goal here Got right it. now is to clear enough ghouls that... That we can get the settlement. We actually don't need to do this right That's now. It. Like this is a particularly useful area to know about, but it doesn't count towards the settlement. So for right now we're just going to turn around and head back out. <coughs> there is a particular thing that you can do here that will get you a lot of a fairly rare crafting component. And I might be back to do that later, but you kind of have to do it when you don't have a companion because they will screw up the thing that you need to do. Okay, there's another reefer. Yeah. Lots of them. Broken. easily gone a lot worse. Turned out that we scored kills just before they hit us too much. Still did, still was by no means smooth. But I think we could probably say that it just barely avoided being uh, disastrous. Nose. Yeah, not a great time to be overly obsessed about dust because we, we're getting our butt kicked. Oh goodness. Okay, that is not good, but fortunately we have some time to be clever about it. bad about reasoning about this little ledge here. 
Awesome. Okay, radium rifles are... Maybe good to know. Uh, they're such a situational weapon, I've never found it useful to carry them. And that so many creatures in Fallout are immune to radiation that having a... That, that weapon actually does radiation damage in, dis in addition to some ballistic damage. But ordin ordinarily you just won't care. Carefully can go up. You can see. Some more dead people. Could have sworn. So I guess this place might have been safe in, uh, at some point in the past and right, stopped being safe. I don't think this one's gonna make it. Make me carry that worthless crap. I am not making you carry anything. Yet. Okay, so it's time to maybe do a little bit of sniping. Okay. Can we see that? Pretty sure we Okay, well there's our declaration of war. get a better weapon for the continuation of war. Actually, can we? Yes, we can. Great. We can go into places where it's even harder for anybody to shoot back at us. And get them... Unfortunately, they, if they can see us, then they're gonna try to stay out of sight. Even the ghouls, which probably doesn't make sense. Like, they probably are not intelligent enough to think about. Uh, to think about the kinds of weapons that people could use, but... Okay, that's one fewer. Let's see. Might be time to head down and rejoin the battle. Did you hear that? Not bad. Oh. And I suffered some radiation for it. Interesting, I don't remember this store. Don't remember if it's... I'm not sure if it might lead to somewhere different or if it's just yes. a rear exit. That's just a rear exit. Okay. Still useful to know about. And to have unlocked in case of, of emergency. Graveyard. Although actually, this doesn't exactly fit the. Maybe it does fit the Fallout story. The reason I would be wary to think that it would be is that the ghouls aren't actually dead. In They're not. 
not actually dead in every sense. Just a little bit too much junk on us. Definitely can make, can do without a pipe wrench. Chained on the other side. And we're probably not too far away from having enough of these cleared out that it will again make sense to see Ooh, a legendary again. And again, if you are careful then you can actually dodge the duel, but you kind of have to be You have to be willing to, to run or to sprint rather. Okay, so that is Hey. I don't know where they are. See if he had anything worth know. taking. Alright. So that's an armor piece that is potentially worth wearing. Maybe. Unfortunately, we're getting very near our weight limit, so we're going to be pretty picky. Now we're just starting to have fun with, uh, with what we carry. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to just give my duty some the stuff. Again, because some of this gear is just too useful to imagine uh, just leaving. Certainly the, the glues and the, uh, the camera. This is actually the only way into the church. where McCready is. Oh, he's here. But I think he probably won't follow us super closely while we're uh, traversing the roof. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, I hope he did not fall. He might have. Because I think what that probably was is he fell, yeah. he took leg damage, we should get the heck and out of here. generally th the now, game assumes that if you've taken good? leg damage, it's that somebody shot you. I would love for McCready to get a little bit closer to me so that I can give him some of my stuff. of the town. Long since abandoned. But with the chain store. Hey, there we go. let's see what you got. But with the chain door, at least the inside of the church is probably uh, pretty safe if anybody was smart enough to know how to get in there. So any human with regular intelligence probably could do it. They'd see the, uh, the roof between the bridge of that house over there. But you generally wouldn't accept a ghoul or a 
the death claw or anything like that to be smart enough. Probably. Although death claws are not actually particularly stupid in the game, and in some of the previous games they could even talk. Quite a lot of stuff in here. Now in real life, these windows would kind of be... If not a disqualifier for feeling safe, they would at least be a sign that you shouldn't feel particularly safe. Like, even if you chain up the door, somebody would think, uh, or would not be intelligent to think they're safe in this place. Except maybe from wild, uh, stupid animals. The ghouls, maybe. Although I would not want to care to bet on whether the ghouls might occasionally be not as dumb as they look. And that they might occasionally be able to do that kind of abstract reasoning. But it's not actually that abstract. Like, how do I get to here from there? This is a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. I do kind of wonder whether this is actually any better or worse. Now, anything involving jumping is, uh, is, I believe, something that ghouls are not going to be able to do. Although they do seem to have the ability to tumble, so maybe that's... Maybe that's not right. Okay, so we have done enough to be able to... We've cleared out enough ghouls to be able to use hey. this as a settlement now. Now what we're going to do then is drop off all our junk into this uh, settlement workbench. Because uh, eventually something? we are going to hook all these settlements together. And when we do, it'll, it'll be nice to have... Or even before we do, it'll, it would be nice to have some uh, resources ready. Somewhere in here we gained a level. Can't do scrapper. But next level we can. We could do science. Which is pretty tempting. Or robotics expert. I think science is probably probably the right thing to do here, because science lets you uh, modify like laser weapons and stuff like that. <coughs> so what were we doing down here? We were going to Vault 88. Let's just head south and see if we can find the entrance to put it on the map. Maybe it might be easier to do this in the daytime so it's not super dark. I think there was, yeah, sleeping bag. Sorry, McCready. Always good to have another useful spot on the map. Hmm, looks like something went pretty bad for this settler. And he had a whole lot of drugs on him. A whole lot of drugs on him. Maybe overdosed. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. I'm not making you carry anything yet. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Girls. Some quick leading. This is actually. If I remember correctly, this is the very edge of a raider settlement. 
And this Raider Settlement, I would say that it's uh, a little bit above mediocre. In the sense that it's very easy to spot the Raiders from a distance. And you can kind of see one up there now. But the thing is, if you didn't... It's also super easy for them to spot you. And, and they're well connected to a quarry here. And uh, so they have resources. They have they can very easily spot any threats to them. Oh, looks like their dog is rolling over and stuff. That's actually kind of cute. They're near allies. Um, yeah, the, the only downside to them, uh, to where they are, is that it's pretty easy to spot them. But otherwise, they're they're doing okay. Same thing with, with these uh, here. Okay. We'll take them out. Take that one out with a quick shot. But we would like to back off a little bit because we may have bitten off Safety a little bit arm. more than we can chew. We have Let's see. One less raider, but I think that there's a whole bunch of them, and they're coming after us. Not I swear good. I heard. I'm all over this. Combat armor. Probably why it was so hard to. Uh, that one out, uh, that one out. But again, we're going against some people who are in their home who know this area quite well. Which makes this fairly dangerous. Because the survivalists, uh, they actually have quite a lot of trouble. Very nice. Hey, you see a, a higher quality of gear on there. Some combat armor, some suppressed weapons. Somebody saw us briefly. Maybe tiptoeing out of the clear, or uh, into the clear here. Part of the problem with with this is that this whole area is irradiated, so you don't want to just go charging in. Yeah, this this is an exceedingly dangerous part of the map. So we're being extraordinarily bold and trying to slip into uh, slip into it. And we need to be accordingly very cautious. But again, we're not really here to try and stay. Pretty sure we're not alone. We're here largely to learn the area for later work. It looks like we've stirred up a hornet's nest. This is bullshit. Yeah, we've definitely stirred a horn uh, hornet's nest uh, here. Careful. 
Okay, we have frag grenades equipped. Somebody right around that corner there. This is a pretty well defended place. The other thing that makes it an odd choice for a settlement is that it has so much standard radiation. the opinion that it really wouldn't make sense to try and live in an area that where you're getting sick just by existing. basically just the judgment of uh, of your character that these are raiders. And you just kind of have to trust the game that they are. And you're not really like trusting Sweet. the human side of the game. You're trusting like displays in the game and stuff. Nice and that and could be a little self-serving. You could trust me. That you could very easily imagine like an explanation like your character was confused. These aren't raiders at all. Uh, seven over budget for weight. is really the part of the game that I do not like at all dealing with uh, weight stuff. Can drop some bourbon and wine and whiskey and vodka. That gets us down to three over. Two over. Fucking hide from me, 
<laughs> okay, well, that was amusing. Yeah, so that, that was probably just a little bit of overreach there. We are at 182 pounds. Or maybe these are pounds. I don't really know what units. Carrying around 250 pounds of stuff is kind of goofy. Uh, maybe we might just leave that Vault 88 stuff for later. Because it's just, it's a little bit tough for us at the, at the moment. And we've had some good content. Let's pull back to Red Rocket, and I will see you in the next, um, in my next episode of this Let's Play. So, until then, signing off.